What's going on, everybody? My name is Jay Sadik, and today we're going to be going over one of the biggest hits right now, recently, Aria de Jut by Darsh Dhaliwal. Song was produced by Gur Siddhu. I mixed and mastered it. So we're going to take a look at what was involved, what we went through, and then the final result. So let's take a look. So this is Eria de Jat by Darsh Dhaliwal, produced by Gur Siddhu. Uh, to start off, they sent me two reference mixes just to have an idea of what it was going to sound like for the music video and the original song. Not that they sounded different, but they were just different edits. I want it to be a little bit shorter because the song is overall a little bit loud. So Darsh, uh, sorry, Gersidu does a great job when it comes to mixing or at least pre-mixing his stuff. So that was good. Like when I heard it, it sounded dope just off the bat. All right. So there's a little bit of delay when it comes to uh, the song just because my computer, I guess it's heavy on my cpu i have no idea but gersidu does a great job when it comes to pre-mixing so he sent me a good reference mix i'll just play from the chorus if it plays <laughs> sounds really good just needs to be brought out and opened and that's the thing that he asked me for anyways when we do our mixing mastering he just wants stuff exactly how it is but open and I kind of get what that means. It's a little bit kind of means it's not really like the mix, but it is like the mix because all the levels are the same and it's just, it just sounds a lot more open. So you can hear that. I just opened up a little bit more. The vocals sound a lot better, uh, a lot more open. So he's got a fat bass line. Let's play that real quick. Without the VOG. With. Sounds really good. Then you have this, I believe it was a bass guitar. And none of the frequencies were kind of you know, interfering with each other. So when you play it together, it sounded really good. So um, after that, we got a kick. Sounds good, but it sounds dead when it's on its own. So now it has a little bit more attack. It's out there through on a DBX uh, 160. Cut off that, that low end unnecessary information, especially when you're trying to make the bass pound, which he loves to do. And uh, throw on a bit of L1, pops everything out to the front. And then with the bass. Sounds really nice. Then he's got about, I think it was four snares. So we'll go through each one of them. Yeah, so it's... Sounds really good all together. I'll play it all together in a minute. Let's go through the other layers too. So he's got these claps, rolling claps. I just go through. Sounds really nice. And then uh, he's got this. And I think that was one of the key like signature things that he had in the song. I thought it was really good. Uh, brought the whole thing together. Yeah, he had a lot of cymbal packs or like rides, hats, all that kind of stuff. Then he's got this. And all that together sounds like this. So that's pretty much the whole entire drum kit. So why don't we play that together so you guys can hear what it sounds like. I 
And I love how the bass line's like a, it's like a four or eight bar bass line. It's, it sounds cool because it sounds like it's going somewhere. It travels the song a little bit more. It sounds a really good track. Got our Tolki in there. Sounds a little bit gated. Sounds cool. I like that a lot. So Tolki's in there. Threw, on a, threw a limiter on it. Called it a day. Brought it right up to the front. And then we go into his chords, his patterns, all that kind of stuff. So let's go into the first set. Sounds sick. Those two patterns with this. Nice little pad. Sounds cool. That gives it that nice impact when the beat drops. Once again. Some strings, some leads, those sound really nice together. Now that gives it that DC element, which is needed. So in a song which doesn't maybe have dol tolki, it's a good way to add that element because it gives it that whole bounce that you know tolki dol patterns have. On top of that, he had this lead sample. Sounds really cool. Nice tumbi tonka. Flute tonka, which is nice. And then he's got... Uh, really cool. Doesn't even sound like a sarangi. It sounds dope. But um, sounds really cool. Sounds like a flute. Some risers. Again, another impact on top. Sounds really cool. Gunshot drop. You know, Punjabi songs don't have that. Gunshots. What else? Nice little gun cock. That sounds cool. I like that. It has a nice little impact to it. Scratches. Now let's go through this. Yeah, another riser. And then um, he's got his tag which I really like, and that was really cool. Girls at the music. So now with his tag. Girls at the music. It always sounds like a, it's bottled in a little bit more. It needs to be brought out a little bit. So um, I EQ it a little bit down. I might just give this to him, um, see if he wants to use it for his other songs. But yeah, bring out the brightness a little bit more because that's what we're doing. We're opening up the song and add a little bit of controlled high end to it, which sounds really cool. And then we get into vocal treatments because this song is a duet. So... You gotta make both of them sound similar, but different. So let's see what this sounds like. Uh, let's do a little bit of a raw thing. Let me just get rid of this. One thing Gersidu always sends me is stuff tuned. So I don't have to worry about that, uh, which is I think a good thing because a lot of guys like to send stuff the way they want it to sound tuned on their song. Some guys don't, they want me or someone else to do it, which is fair. If that's what they want, then you know we make that happen. But going into it right away, Throw on some API 2500. The vibe in the song is there. It just needs to be brought to life a little bit. After that, get rid of some low end, add in some sharpness. And then I added some Q2 just because I can hear a lot of sharpness in there. Sounds a lot better, but maybe sounds a little bit dead. So I'm going to add some more compression, some stuff that brings it back out. LA-2A. Nothing major. This is what the major thing is. Still hear a little bit of sharpness. That sounds a lot better. So I control that with the 4K dip. And then over here, some controlled uh, multiband compression. And the Arvox, bring it back right up to the front. And then right here, the manly massive passive. 
It definitely brought up some brightness on this a lot, uh, about 10 dB around 8K and maybe like 3, 4 dB around 16K, just to give it that air. Sounds nice, and the S's are really well controlled too. Uh, now with the female part, show you guys what it is, because a lot of the stuff was the same in terms of what I added, because I wanted it to sound similar, but you know, different. So API 2500, once again, control any of the transients. So just on the transients, and then there's a lot of heaviness in her vocal, and I think it needs to be less. And got some sharpness and some more low end removed from her vocal. Hearing it come to life a little bit more when I'm want to keep on adding that stuff. Uh, the JJP vocals, once again. Some multi-band to control a little bit more, bring out some of the top end. Now bring that vocal to the front. After that, get rid of some the SE sharpness. And then once again, bring that vocal right up to the front. Now, if you listen to the two of them back to back, I'll add in the reverb and delay as well so you guys can hear what it sounds like. So with the Valhalla room, added some pre-delay around 14.5 and just a small reverb, uh, two second reverb. And then uh, delay, simple, you know, two beat, ping pong delay with a little bit of a filter on the low end top end. And you got this. So when it goes from his vocal to her vocal, you should hear it sound kind of similar. They both have this dip in a certain section, but they both have brightness and openness and body too. So it sounds really cool. I believe we've got some vocal effects for her. Yeah, some filtered um, vocal effects, which he sent me himself, Gursidhu. And then uh, I believe we got some... Some more of his type of effects. And that is the entire song mixed and mastered. Uh, now for the mastering chain itself. Did a little bit more extra stuff, but we got about 2.59 dB of width, stereo width, which I added. Um, did the 20 hertz, uh, sorry. Yeah, 20 hertz and under and 20K and above cut and 100 hertz and below all the stereo information you know removed added in some boosts cues not that bad it's actually kind of, it's kind of fat but not too fat and then did a shelf on the top end above 16k uh gave it some brightness so i want to show you guys what it sounds like with and without so you can hear the difference first the width <laughs> Very slightly just opens up the, the sides. Then we got the cuts here. It just helps it control a little bit more. Uh, once we bring in some of this top end though, then you're gonna hear a difference. So I should wanna hear um, Darsh's part. can hear it brightened up a little bit more. Nothing major, just a couple of dB, but it sounds a lot better. Um, after that, brought in some more EQing. <laughs> Definitely brings in, brings out that low end and it brings out uh, some of that brightness again. And then we got a multiband once again. This is what brings that song, this song to life. It actually helps out a lot. 
especially it just brings out the top end, but it sounds really cool. It sounds really controlled. <laughs> So that's just a clipper, which you guys know I use all the time for my masters. So I didn't add anything on the L2. Uh, I think the L2 is just there to stop anything coming out. And also I reduced the gain about 10, uh, 0.10 uh, dB or 0.11 dB just to make sure nothing over... Uh, no overages on the on the master, so no distortion, no stupid things that happen afterwards. Got rid of that, and that is the entire mix master for the song. So it was a little bit of a lengthy one, but it sounded dope, and I got it done pretty fast. And everyone was really happy with it, pretty much off the second master, which is awesome. And uh, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, please make sure you guys keep on subscribing, hit that bell for future notifications, comment, share away, do your thing. And until next time. See you guys soon. Peace.